Hey, what is going on? I'm Jeff from Android, and in this video, let's take a look at Monkey ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi 4, aka the Redmi 4X. So, first of all, in order to install the ROM, as always, you need to have a custom query installed. So, if you haven't already, check the links in the description below, or I will leave cards right here to my tutorial videos. So, check them out. So, first of all, you need to download two zip files the rom and the google app zip file links for both the zip files will be in the description as well so download them and place them in the internal storage or in the sd card of your device so now open the update application and tap on the three dots in the top right corner and select reboot to recovery mode And now in regular mode, use the TWRP's inbuilt backup option to take a complete backup of your ROM so that you could come back to your stock ROM just in case if you don't like the Moki ROM. Now select wipe and swipe to wipe. And now select install and select the Moki ROM file and swipe to flash. And now select the Google Apps zip file and swipe to flash. And now select reboot system. So the first boot into new ROM is going to take a lot of time so just sit back and relax. So now we have booted in the ROM, I'll set up the ROM and I'll be back. So while going through the setup process, specifically while setting up the fingerprint scanner, I noticed that the fingerprint scanner is not working, like it's not registering my fingerprints. But the thing is, the developer claims that the fingerprint scanner works absolutely fine. And even some users commented on the forum MIUI post for this ROM so why the fingerprint scanner is not working so I guess so my guess would be that Xiaomi is using different fingerprint scanners because my device which I'm using right now is a Xiaomi Redmi 4 the one sold in India and other countries that and the developer and the people who commented on the forum post were using the Redmi 4X so which means that Xiaomi is using different fingerprint scanner in the Redmi 4X and the Redmi 4 sold in India so and that is the reason why the fingerprint scanner is not working because of different drivers because the fingerprint scanner requires different drivers and that should be the reason why the fingerprint scanner is not working in my device because this is a Redmi 4 and the developer developed this ROM for the Redmi 4X. And if you are wondering is that even possible, well this is not the first time Xiaomi is doing this. Xiaomi has done the same exact thing with their Redmi Note 3 Snapdragon variant as well. The initial units came with a different fingerprint scanner and the later units came with a different fingerprint scanner called as the Gudex fingerprint scanner or something, I, I don't remember. But that must be the reason why the fingerprint scanner is not working. I'm, I'm not 100% sure but that is my educated guess. So help me out guys, if you are installing this ROM, do one thing. Just go down to the comment section of this video and leave a comment stating which device you are using like either it's a redmi 4 or a redmi 4x and also mention if the fingerprint scanner is working for you or not that way we can try to understand what is the issue so moving on i have set up the ROM completely and i noticed a couple of things first thing i have blaster is not working but that is totally fine because this is a very initial build and the ROM does not have support for VOLD but getting past this everything else is like rock solid stable unlike the lineage OS ROM which we saw previously this ROM does not have any 
bloatware applications like no chinese applications installed it is just as pure as a stock rom just with a couple of more case additions the camera works both still photos and videos works without any issues and even and since it's a moki rom and it's based on cm13 it has support for synergy mod theme engine if you want to do some theming so overall getting past the fingerprint scan issue this rom is totally fine to be used as a daily driver so so do check it out and leave your comments in the comment section below and i'll see you guys later see ya